Last week's Supreme Court ruling allowing a web designer to deny service to a same-sex couple is sending a chill through the LGBTQ communities nationwide. Many fear more rights could be stripped away. KCAL News political reporter Tom Wade is here now with the ruling and how it could, could potentially have massive ripple effects. Yeah, definitely, Pat. And we are in some uncharted waters here, right, with this ruling. So even though the in the LGBTQ community who have fought and won previous discrimination discrimination cases worry, those cases could now have a very different outcome. Nobody should be forced to create a message that goes against the core of who they are and what they believe. Lori Smith, a web designer from Colorado, on why she should be allowed to deny doing business with same-sex couples. Last week, her case went before the Supreme Court and she won, with the conservative justices siding with her. I'm a Christian. I believe that marriage is between a man and a woman. and. I want to create messages that are consistent with that faith. The case is sending shockwaves through the LGBTQ community, with many wondering what it will mean big picture for gay rights going forward. Attorney and former federal prosecutor Scott Tenley. Today, it's the views of gays and lesbians about who they are and who they want to marry and how they want to live. But then the question becomes, well, is this going to be applied to other aspects of life, to people's races, to people's political views? Where does it end? I mean, that's really the big the big question is how far can this extend uh, in public accommodations? The ruling has been triggering for some in the LGBTQ community, like David Engel. Back in 1987, he attended his high school reunion in Irvine with his then boyfriend. A photographer was hired to take photos of the couples for a memory book, but the photographer told David he and his boyfriend would not be included in the book because of their sexual orientation. When Eric and I arrived to the front of the line, the employee told us point blank that although we would be photographed, we would not appear in the portrait section. We were told that it's the publisher's policy and nothing we said made a difference. We were both stunned and blindsided. David, who made a career in theater, decided to sue the photographer for discrimination. Gloria Allred took up his case. They lost the first round, but Allred appealed and won. Although the trial court decided in favor of Mr. Worthington, the California Court of Appeals reversed and decided that Worthington Reunion Photographers was a business establishment and that David Engel had been discriminated against in violation of California's Unruh Civil Rights Act. But now the fear is that after last week's Supreme Court ruling, cases like David's could have a very different outcome. I fought a decade-long legal battle for my right to be included with my life partner in my high school reunion memory book. I won that right for myself and my partner. And now, 30 years later, same-sex couples in many states will be left unprotected from discrimination. This decision is completely heartbreaking. Legal experts say other rights recently gained in the LGBTQ community may be vulnerable. In this decision, there's nothing that suggests the current 6-3 lineup of conservative justices is going to uphold gay marriage if that comes before them. What other rights are going to come before this 6-3 conservative court that, that may completely get struck down and reversed? So I think we all have a lot of reason to be worried about this court, but certainly gays and lesbians, uh, the LGBT community does. In a bizarre twist to this case out of Colorado, the man the web designer named in court documents as the one she said she didn't want to do business with says none of this ever happened. So now, of course, there are questions about who or what this case was based on. So, Pat, we're in, like we were saying, some uncharted waters here. Well, Tom, this begs the question, if the man at the center of this case says it never happened, mm -hmm. then what's next? That is such a good question. I asked uh, Scott Tenley, who we heard from there in the piece, he said this has never happened in the Supreme Court before. So it's uh, it's kind of, it's one of those situations where we don't know what's going to happen next. I get, I mean, at this point, nothing's going to change the ruling, so. But it was based on a hypothetical. Yeah, it was based on a, well, I don't know if it was a lie or a falsehood. We don't know. Mm. So there we go. All right, well, thanks for following up on this. And I'm, we'll probably be hearing a lot more about it. I think it. so. Okay, thank thanks, you, Pat. Tom.